masturbation. Why is it when people hear the word masturbation, they automatically jump to the conclusion or the assumption that that means you must be using your hands or some object to masturbate with. It's just like when people think of sex as in male or female, they jump to the conclusion that there's only male and there's only female. When there's really a third way to masturbate and there's really more than just two sexes. I won't get into that right now. But what I am going to talk about is masturbation and not the kind that you're thinking about. I'm talking about the kind of masturbation you do without your hands. You do it by tightening clenching your thighs and making your body stiff. I know that sounds funny or maybe even impossible, but let me tell you, I know. And if you've never done it that way, you're missing the real form of masturbation. Because if you've never broken a sweat, and if you've never done this for hours, and if you've never orgasmed for many, many hours over and over and over again, you don't know what you're missing. You have never truly masturbated. I have been doing this form of masturbation far back as I can remember, which is preschool. I can remember I got caught one time when we were supposed to be taking our naps, they gave us our little cots and we brought our own little blankies. I can remember, instead of sleeping, I was masturbating with my legs pressed tightly together, making little movements, rubbing my genitals between my legs. I can remember the teacher, the one that was watching us, not the main one, but the one that was monitoring us sleeping, or we were supposed to be taking our naps. I can remember her coming over and lifting the quilt off me to see what I was doing. Now, because it doesn't really, I'm not, I was never touching myself, not even my parents knew what I was doing when I was masturbating, but I can definitely assure you I was having orgasms when I was three and four years old through masturbation very intense orgasms, okay? The kind of orgasms that are so intense that I can't even describe you to you in words. I would use masturbation for just about everything you can think of. Um, frustration? Masturbate. Angry? Masturbate. Happy? Masturbate. When you do that when you're a child because you have so many synapses in your brain more than adults. Children have many, many, many more synapses, which means they can connect these synapses, which gives them more capacity in their brain. When you tell a child not to masturbate, what you're doing is you're limiting their synapses. Their synapses, you, you limit their, your, their thinking, their brain capacity. Their ability to connect their synapses to their emotions to understand feeling, how others feel, how to understand emotion better, to respect others better. It's all about the synapses in your brain. Now, if your synapses have been limited as a child because you weren't allowed to masturbate, you can still grow those synapses, but it isn't going to be as easy because when you're a child, everything is easier. You learn faster. You learn your language quicker. You can imagine, you know, children learn very quickly compared to adults. So masturbation for children is very important and very healthy. Again, <laughs> I have been doing this for my whole life. So 
That's the kind of masturbation I'm talking about. Not the nasty, bullshit, fake type crap you see on porn. I'm talking about the real type of masturbation. So don't jump to conclusions just because the world you see out there is so fake and ridiculous. Okay. Take care.